Hey guys, it's uh, General Heat here, and uh, today we're going to be doing a really quick uh, tutorial video. Um, some people have been asking for this, and I uh, figured I'd uh, make a really simple one. So, I'll be showing you guys today how to make your own holograms for the HoloLens. And it's also kind of a little behind the scenes uh, video for um, the um, all the HoloLens apps I've been showing off lately, like the Yu-Gi-Oh game and the Pokemon one. Um, also, uh, I promise if you watch the end of the video, I will give you a little bit, a uh, little sneak peek of update three for um, Yu-Gi-Oh for the Hololens. Um, the third update, I know it's been taking a while, but it is coming out soon. It'll be a really big, uh, awesome one. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And uh, I uh, enjoy the uh, tutorial, and hopefully, you watch the end to see the uh, sneak peek. So, before we get started, uh, you guys need to make sure that you install all these um, tools here, uh, such as Visual Studio, the HoloLens emulator, and Unity uh, HoloLens technical preview. Um, and you also need to make sure your computer meets all these system requirements. So, so you know, just make sure your computer can handle it, and then get it all installed, and then we'll get started. Now, um, for I do get further. I do want to uh, put it out there that to um, to make like actual holographic apps, you do need a little bit of coding experience. Um, you know, otherwise, uh, all you'll be able to make is like just simple um, static holograms, uh, which is what this tutorial does. But you know, I mean, it's it's a great place to start, and Microsoft does provide some great tutorials to learn a little bit about programming. Uh, but with that said, let's get started. So, once you have all your uh, tools installed, all you need to do is set up Unity HoloLens. And it will load up. And if you already have some projects, they'll be here. Um, but if not, click on New Project. And let's just call this Example Tutorial. And yeah, we'll put in that folder, it should be good. All right, so once it gets started, uh, oops. Um, first thing you do is you want to click on the main camera here in your uh, objects. Right here is where uh, all of your objects are. Um, and so you put your holograms eventually. And right here is what your scene looks like. And the inspector is all the um, properties for your objects. This is just a very general description of how Unity works. but um, so uh, let's get started. So once you've clicked on main camera, you go over here to your inspector. Uh, switch that from skybox to solid color. And make sure you change the background to solid black. Because um, when you view things holographically, uh, black is actually transparent holographically. Because that's how light works. You can't actually project black. So. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Uh, change your near clipping plane to 0 0.85. And oh, make sure the position, make sure it's all 0, 0, 0. Leave the scale the way it is. And then before we go on, go to File, Build Settings, change that to Windows Store. SDK to Universal 10, build type to D3D, and then check Unity C Sharp projects. Uh, next, go to player settings, and make sure you check virtual reality supported, and that the Windows Holographic SDK is the one selected. And, uh, well, for more complicated apps, you do need to check a few things here. 
like spatial perception, maybe webcam, microphone, uh, maybe objects 3D. But for, I don't think we actually need to check these for this particular app because it's actually pretty simple. So probably, you probably don't need to worry about that, but you know, just check it just in case, I guess. Uh, another thing is the HoloLens actually, you know, it's not like a really super powerful computer. So for more complicated, um, uh, apps, you do want to, uh, lower the quality a little bit. So right now it's set to highest quality possible. Um, for this particular app, yeah, that, that'll be fine. But for more complicated ones, you do want to reduce uh, the quality a bit so that it runs as fast as possible on the HoloLens. So once we got that, we are actually uh, ready to start. But let's save our progress first. So click Save Scene. And we'll just call this the main scene. All right. So now let's create our very first hologram. So let's make a uh, let's make a sphere. So there you have your sphere. Uh, right now it's on top of the camera, so you're gonna want to move it out just a little bit in front of the camera. Um, you could just drag it if you want to got a gauge distance or you can type the position here. So let's do 2.5. And then here you can kind of see what the camera sees. Um, let's move that just a little bit more. Three should be fine. Actually, no, no, I like 2.5. No, no, you want what compromise 2.8. There we go. That should be fine. Um, so, if you ever used Unity before, you know you can just press play and then to run your game. But because this is um, the HoloLens, we actually can't do much in the Unity editor. So, that's actually our first hologram. So, we're just going to save the scene, save the project. Now, to uh, actually run it on the HoloLens or in the emulator, we just go to build settings, select Windows Store, build. Uh, let's create a build folder, or you can select any folder you want. And, and just let it build. This will, depending on how big your game is, this could take a few minutes. But uh, in this case, uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, this is the first time we're ever doing it, so that's why it'll take maybe another minute or so. But after this point, it shouldn't take as long. Come on. All right, should be just about done now. Um, once it's done, it'll open up the folder for me and we'll get started. There you go. So let's go to the build folder and open up the Visual Studio uh, solution file. And I open up in Visual Studio here. Now I realize uh, most of you, actually probably all of you watching this, probably do not have a HoloLens because right now it's for developers only, so you have to get approved to get it. And even if you do get approved, it costs three thousand dollars each. Well, actually, uh, depending on sales tax, um, I live in Pennsylvania, so it's six percent sales tax here, and therefore it costs three thousand one hundred eighty dollars. Actually, I know some other states out there have like even higher sales tax or some states have no sales tax. So, you know, the price will vary a little bit depending on the state you live in. Anyways, uh, so now that we're here, um, you don't need to do much else uh, but run it. So switch the platform here from ARM to x86. And let's do the emulator first. So just select HoloLens emulator. So yeah, like, like, as I was saying, uh, since most of you probably don't have the HoloLens, you can play around with it in the emulator. 
and that'll already give you a good idea of um, how this will work. And perhaps in the future when uh, the HoloLens gets cheaper, you'll all be able to afford it and make your own apps and test it on your own HoloLens. So, here we go. That is my HoloLens emulator. Now my computer right now has a really high resolution monitor or it's a Surface Book so it has like a 3000 by 2000 display. So that's why this um, emulator looks pretty small but on most computers with like 1080p monitors it will, oh, I'm a little, little low on RAM it seems. Well, unfortunately I can't show you what it looks like in the emulator right now but um, I will show you what it looks like on the actual HoloLens. So let's get to that. All right, so to um, deploy it to your HoloLens device, if you have one, you just go to switch to, from emulator to device and just simply click that button. And now I will switch to my HoloLens to show you guys what our first hologram app looks like. So, let's get started on the HoloLens. And as you can see here, we have a giant sphere that we just made in the holographic world. So, let's take a quick look. I mean, that's basically all there is to it. Um, yeah. Very simple, uh, basic first hologram. So yeah, as you just saw, um, that was a very um, basic, simple hologram. Um, you know, there wasn't too much to it. It was, I think, it was pretty easy to do. Um, but you know, if you wanted something more uh, complicated, something cooler, uh, you know, with animations. Uh, you will need 3D modeling experience and animating experience as well. Um, you know, I mean, even I don't have that experience. So, you know, if you don't have that experience, then what you can do is you can download like a pre-made 3D model uh, with animations online. There's, there's a lot of websites out there with uh, 3D models available, uh, you know, of all, all shapes and sizes. So, you know, it's... Um, what you can do and then once you have that downloaded uh, you just simply drag into your game which I will show you how to do and actually this is where we get to the um, little sneak peek of the Yu-Gi-Oh 3 update so let me uh, delete the sphere first and let's add in the uh, model we have already so um, we'll do this one for a little blue eyes white dragon And all I got to do is just drag it in. Uh, that's a little too big, actually, because, I mean, for the actual Yu-Gi-Oh game, we are going to look into making it bigger. But since I'm just showing you this inside my room, we got to make it a lot smaller, <laughs> or reasonably sized, <laughs> because it's not going to fit in my room otherwise. <laughs> so let's reset the size. Uh, let me a little smaller. Zero point three. Uh, I forgot to mention like the uh, the scale is the size, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's basically about it. And then let's we'll spawn this hologram a little bit closer this time. One point five instead of two point eight from last time, because that was a little bit too far out. Um. So, oops, I forgot to also import the, um, oh, I got it here. No, that's not it. Uh, one second. Let me just pause this for a second. Alrighty, so, um, Let's uh, customize this a little bit. We're gonna go all the way. Um, you, this is like a little bit, um, you know, obviously more advanced. So you don't need to worry too much about being able to follow this. Um, but we're just gonna 
show you a little bit behind the scenes of how we've built the Yu-Gi-Oh game partially. So, oops. Uh, there we go. Let's just add the textures to our blue eyes. A uh, little bit more. Uh, there we go. There's a little blue eyes white dragon. Let's uh, let's give him a sound effect as well. Uh, let me get that high priority, and then the animation for him. Let's see. Bring the animation controller, blue eyes, and then where is the animation? There we go. Yeah, that should do it. And then Back to the scene. All right, uh, let's see if that works or not. There you go, it's animated. And let's, um, let's build it. Actually, let's save it first. And then let's build it. And once it's done, we will move this to the real world with uh, the HoloLens. And you will get the first sneak peek into what um, our battle animations and everything will look like for Yu-Gi-Oh! for HoloLens. Because that is one of many things coming in uh, the third update. So let's get that started, and I'm going to switch to the HoloLens now. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's take a look at how this app turned out, and let's start it up. Remember, this is the first sneak peek of the new update. So there you have it. Uh, full animations and sound. Let's get a closer look at our little blue eyes here. Yeah, if I step too close, it kind of uh, vanishes, but, uh, yep. There you have it. The blue eyes white dragon, as it will be featured in uh, the third update of the game, Yu Gi Oh! for HoloLens. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and. Uh, I look forward to showing you that third update, uh, which is coming hopefully pretty soon. And I uh, also hope you guys uh, found this tutorial very helpful and interesting. And uh, yeah, just remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.